Hi Capricorn, welcome to your October astrology and tarot reading. So this reading is going to be actually in four parts. And the first part is going to be an overall, the second part, money and career. And then the third part is going to be love. The fourth part is a special treat for you where we are going to take a look and see if the universe is giving you a trick or a treat for Halloween. And we're going to see what magic you're making this Halloween. So stick around to the end of the video to get that message as well. So this reading is going to be most accurate for your moon and rising sign. But please feel free to watch all three signs to get the most accurate predictions, okay? So please know that any predictions I make as well, please know I'm not saying for sure this is going to happen. But I am telling you the energies are there. The opportunity is there and that we always can take matters into our own hands to either allow it to happen or prevent it from happening. Okay, know this. All right, let's see. So we have Saturn in your first house, Capricorn, which, um, you know, I feel Saturn's pretty comfortable there for you. You are a Capricorn, but you might be experiencing some symptoms from that because I'm getting almost like pressure migraines for you. So if you're struggling with migraines, um, know that it is with Saturn there. Um, I actually struggle with my migraines sometimes and I understand your pain. I Sometimes I take Belladonna tablets for that because it's natural and it actually works. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just something that I do, but um, it could help you. So yeah, Saturn being in your first house, this is like your reputation and the way that you see yourself, Capricorn, is changing, okay? You feel like other people are kind of seeing you differently. You feel like you're seeing yourself differently. You might feel that, I, I feel like other people are kind of looking at you like you're the responsible one, right? And maybe... Um, yeah, it's like you're the responsible one. You're the one who has to have all the responsibility and you're kind of like, yeah, I'm responsible, but hold on. Um, and then you're kind of questioning that in yourself, right? So I don't know. Let's take a look and see what the cards have. Well, yeah, we got the worlds in reverse, the devil. Yeah, I feel like Capricorn, it's like other people are just coming along and it's almost like they're just dumping all their problems onto you, wanting you to solve them. Yeah, with the star here, okay? Um, the devil, the world, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. So I feel... Okay, so Capricorn, with the Saturn placement, Saturn is asking you to work very hard right now. And I think that... You may be struggling with the world and the devil financially, feeling like you don't have enough or there's not enough available to you, not enough abundance available. But Spirit's saying there is, okay, and this is actually healing this month for you with the star. Things are actually starting to look a little bit better. You're starting to see a little glimmer of hope, okay, is what I'm getting here with these three cards. And... You know, um, the sun, Mercury, Venus, I believe that's going into your, I think it's 10th house. Let me check. Yeah, in your 10th house. And this is towards the latter half of the month. So I do feel like you could be signing paperwork, contracts, um, especially into, in regards to work, career, um, housing. Okay, I'm seeing paperwork. I'm seeing you sign things. Um Rahu is actually in your fourth house, and he's aspecting your tenth house. Okay, so Rahu, um, I feel like in your fourth house, is making you really question yourself. Okay, it's like you just don't feel comfortable um, making any decision or making any movement forward. And I feel like this is having an effect on your self-confidence, and it could even have an effect on your work. Because you're having a hard time making decisions or taking certain actions, because I feel like, for you, it's like something just don't feel right with them, right? Like, there's just something about it that makes you feel uncomfortable 
taking these actions, even if they're actions that you're used to taking or that you've always taken, now it's like all of a sudden you feel just uncomfortable, you're doubting yourself, questioning yourself, maybe it's something you've done a million times, but it's like all of a sudden you're questioning if you're capable or if you're able, and um, you know, this is Rahu coming to test your confidence, okay? That's what that is. So recognize that and stand in your power, Capricorn. Know that this is just the energies because what it's really doing is asking you to work hard, okay? Because we have the aspect of Rahu to your 10th house, which is your house of career, karma, action, deeds. Because Rahu is asking you to work hard because Rahu, um, Rahu wants like overabundance. Rahu wants all the comforts. He wants all the comforts, okay? So Rahu is making you uncomfortable in order for you to work very hard to get comfortable again, if that makes sense. And it's very similar to kind of the cancer energy um, that I read for this month. So you might resonate with the cancer energy as well. Check out the cancer reading if you'd like. Maybe you have a cancer sun, moon, rising, Venus, something like that. But this is similar to the Cancer energy. But yeah, I feel like that's what's going on for you. So Rahu is saying, you know what, Capricorn? What are you comfortable with, with the world here? All right, it's asking you what physical pleasures you have been very comfortable with and then kind of taking those things away for a short amount of time. So this is anything that you felt stable with. Wherever you felt your stability was, that was bringing comfort in for you in relationships, in love, or especially in work, career. You know, this is Rahu saying, okay, let's take that away, right? So that Capricorn can work very hard to get to that point again with the star, right? Because when Capricorn works very hard, it's going to activate your 10th house, okay, your karma there. So Rahu wants to see you work for that. Rahu's asking you to work for it because Rahu's saying, listen, Capricorn, I want to activate your 10th house. I want to activate all of this karma here that you built up in the past in your 10th house from working hard, from being responsible, for being dependable, for being on time, okay? These are things that Rahu um, and, and Saturn really respect. Well, not necessarily Rahu. Rahu doesn't respect it, but Saturn does. And because Rahu is aspecting your 10th house, Saturn rules your 10th house. And Saturn is actually where? Over in your first house. So it's telling you that the work Saturn is asking of you might be a little bit physically taxing on you. You might be tired. You might, you know, have to step out of your comfort zone because Rahu is asking you to step out of your comfort zone. Because Rahu is saying, Capricorn, I want to see you work for this karma. Okay? I want to see you work really hard. All right? And then when you do, when you do that work, right? I'm going to activate all of that karma you've built up in the past and your 10th house. But I want to see you earn it. I want to see you earn it, Capricorn. That's what your astrology is saying with the star. Okay, so you have a karma activation coming. And this is going to happen, I feel, sometime during the end of the month. Okay, but again, Rahu is asking you to work for that activation if he sees you putting in that work, if you're going home at night and your feet is tired, if you're going home at night and you feel mentally drained, right? I'm not saying this is a good thing, you guys. I'm just reading the energies, okay? This is Saturn. Saturn likes that. Saturn wants you to put in the work and give it all you got until you can't give any more and then get up the next day and do it again, okay? Even if you don't see that reward yet, okay? Because Saturn likes responsibility. He likes commitment, okay? He wants to see you commit to this. And Rahu 
is kind of aspecting that sign in order to make that activation. So Rahu has actually made an agreement with Saturn, okay, because Saturn is who actually lives in your 10th house. And Rahu is looking at Saturn's house. And Rahu is saying, you know what? I'm going to open this house. I'm going to open the door. I'm looking at this house. I'm going to open the door. But first I have to get the key from Saturn, right? That's what Rahu's saying. I have got to get this key from Saturn. So Capricorn, you got to help me get this key from Saturn, okay? How do you do that? Well, you're going to have to work really hard, right? Make a commitment. Take responsibility because guess what? That's what Saturn likes. That is Saturn's key. And so Rahu is asking you, Capricorn, to retrieve the key from Saturn so that you can open the door to your karmic rewards that are going to pour into for you during the latter half of the month, okay? Beautiful energy. I love that. So let's take a look at the world. What does the world want to tell you? You are going to have a wish granted to you. Okay, look at that. So, you know, the Nine of Cups is about hospitality. And this is something that's being tested for you, Capricorn. Um, how I feel like you're going to be struggling with that. I'm sorry, but you're going to be struggling with feeling comfortable, feeling, you know, that the universe is hospitable towards you. You might be saying, oh my gosh, this is too much work. Like, why can't I catch a break? Why can't the universe just be a little more, you know, hospitable towards me? Why can't the universe just let me be a little more comfortable? My feet hurt, my back hurt, my head hurts, whatever. You know, like, listen, Capricorn, I feel you. I'm a Capricorn um, rising in tropical, but in Vedic, which is what I follow, I'm a Saji rising, but I actually do resonate, I resonate a lot with the Saji energy, but I also do resonate with the Capricorn rising energy, it really does, I feel like they both resonate with me for my rising sign, so trust me, I'm not dragging a Capricorn, and also some of my favorite people in the world are Capricorns. Just, just that I'd let you know they really are. I get along with Capricorns. I'm a Taurus. Um, yeah. So, we got the devil here. Capricorn energy. Okay. Oh, look at that. Eight of Swords in reverse. You might feel that, you know, this is a situation that you can't get out of, that you feel trapped in, but it is not. Okay, and that is what the devil in the Eight of Swords is telling you right now. That is mental. Okay, so listen. <laughs> listen, Capricorn. This is getting through this mental um, kind of stress of not having any of the comforts there for you that you've always had. Okay, this is going to be mentally taxing on you. All right, but at the end of it all, you get a wish granted. Listen, when you get the star and the Nine of Cups... This is a wish granted. It is. When you have both of these cards out in one spread, you get to make a wish. And it gets to be granted. Okay? But it doesn't mean that you're not going to work for it. Okay? Because you, you are. You are. Because Rahu is asking you to. Okay? Rahu cannot get in that house without Saturn's key. That is Saturn's house. If someone comes to your house... They can't get in without your key unless you allow them to. And so you have to use Saturn's key and you have to play by Saturn's rule. But Rahu is there because he wants to unlock that door for you, Capricorn. Okay, so let's take a look at the star. All right, so we got the Eight of Cups. All right, so Spirit is saying, with the Eight of Cups, you know, this is something so much more fulfilling, so much more satisfying at the end of this journey, at the end of the month for you, okay? And with the Eight of Cups, this is 
walking away from anything that's mentally binding, mentally taxing. For you, this is literally, I feel like you're going to have to defeat like all of those thoughts that are making you feel uncomfortable because, again, it's your confidence that is being tested again. And this is Rahu doing that, and it's because you feel uncomfortable, right? So you're going to have to leave those thoughts behind and, yeah, walk away from those thoughts. Heal those thoughts on the spot. Call them out and tell them to leave, okay? That's what I'm seeing. So let's get a trigger card for you, Capricorn. Look at that. You are moving into abundance, okay? But you have to manifest it, okay? And again, Rahu wants to help you manifest the type of abundance you have been praying for, you have been wishing for, but you have to get the key from Saturn, okay? There's always a way, all right? And this is your way this month. Just know that at the end of this, there is abundance for you. You're manifesting it now. And I literally feel like this is something you have wished for, falling into your lap, okay? So let's move forward and get a closer look at what's going on in career and finances. Temperance. So yeah, it might feel a bit unbalanced right now, Capricorn. But I promise you it is all going to balance out at the end of the month. And again, um, you are manifesting abundance right now. You are manifesting magic right now. Okay, so remember that. Do not believe any different. Your mind is going to be playing tricks on you. Your mind is going to be telling you it's worthless, right? That it's no use, that you may as well just stop, give up, start on another journey. That's not true. Okay, don't listen to those thoughts, Capricorn. Don't listen to those thoughts because you are going to see those results, okay? It's going to come in suddenly and shockingly for you. Suddenly and shockingly, your manifestation is coming in. This tower is not a bad card. This tower is all the doubt, all the fear, all the lack. All, all of that just being destroyed through your faith. And then we have your comforts being returned to you, okay? After this period of hard work, feeling comfortable again, all right? So let's see what temperance wants to tell you. So temperance wants to tell you, you know, just... Hang in there, okay? Hang in there. It, things are going to change. And again, you are manifesting from a spiritual level. And with the Page of Wands, you know, the universe is saying, don't give up. Keep going, okay? Keep going. You've got this, and you're going to hear some good news in regards to your career. This is something you've been waiting on hearing. It's going to come in this month. So what does the Fool want to tell you? This is news that's going to make you very excited. Okay. What does the fool want to tell you? Okay, we got death. A new beginning for you. A brand new beginning and an ending. And it could be through this um, message or this news that you're getting. And I feel like this could be leveling up or being promoted and moving to another building or another floor in a company or another area of the company. And it feels like bittersweet, right? But... But it's good. That's, it's good news. It makes you feel excited. That's what I'm getting. So let's take a look at the tower. For some of you, it could be all of a sudden um, an ending to a job or a project or something you've been working on only to fall right into something that brings you so much more abundance um, by the end of the month. So all of this sorted out by the end of the month. Let's take a look at the tower. Yeah, Page of Swords, King of Cups. Okay, so yeah, Spirit saying, you know, um, this is an ending to the emotional, emotional turmoil, an ending to the mental turmoil, an ending to questioning yourself, feeling frustrated, 
okay? Um, it's very important that you're very aware of the way that you are communicating. Um, speaking to others, Capricorn, okay? Because with Rahu in the fifth house, you can come across as aggressive, argumentative, or harsh when you're not meaning to. And you might not even notice it, but other people will, okay? So just be aware of that. Let's see what's going on for love, Capricorn. What is going on in love for you, for Capricorn? Oh my goodness, we got the sun. Beautiful energy, joy, happiness, awareness. We got the Hierophant. Commitment, okay. So we have strength here as well. And then we have the moon that wanted to come out with it. Okay. Okay, so in love here. With the sun, I feel like this is a really favorable period. And with the hair event as well. But with strength and the moon, you know, this is to pay attention to, I feel like, nerves. With the moon and strength, this is like your nerves. Um, you know, triggers. Okay, realize that Rahu being in your fifth house is going to cause that. And there could definitely be some misunderstandings with the moon, okay? So this is the type of energy where you definitely could say things that you don't mean, okay? So just be careful for that and watch for that. But I do see for some of you, um, you know, engagements, commitments. I'm seeing that with these two cards, okay? So let's see what the sun wants to tell you, Capricorn. Six of swords, things are going to get better, all right? So realize that Rahu is making you feel very frustrated this month, but know that things are going to get better. Um, if you've been struggling in regards to relationships, I feel like these are better days coming in, okay? Um, we got the nine of swords as well. So yeah, you've been dealing with some sadness, some sleepless nights. For some of you, you've been dealing with um, feeling alone, feeling depressed. And with this card, with the sun being here with these two, this is starting to feel better, starting to heal, okay? Starting to realize that there really is better days ahead of you and feeling that, actually feeling that, okay? Let's take a look at the here event. You know, this is also committing to yourself, making a commitment to yourself, actually, that you are going to feel and be the best you for you. Okay, so let's take a look at the Hierophant. What does the Hierophant want to tell you? We have three of pentacles. Okay, so to remember to cooperate, to really listen to others, okay, um, is what I'm seeing here from a soul level. I think that you also, it's like, you might feel triggered if anybody is telling you what to do this month, right? Like in relationships. So um, it's like... Remember the intentions as well. Sometimes it can be coming from a good place. You're feeling a bit overwhelmed in regards to love this month, but it is because of your emotions and Rahu on your fifth house. Know that this will change. You will feel better, okay? Let's take a look at strength and the moon. What do they want to tell you? We have five of pentacles in reverse. You're coming out of a time of lack mindset, poverty mindset, or just really feeling emotionally, mentally injured in some way. But spirit wants you to look at all the strength that you have gained through this time. And I know that it hurts and I'm sorry for what you've been through. Okay, my heart goes out, out to you. And I'm sending you love and light. But, you know, spirit saying, look at the strength that you've gained. There is no question now of how strong you are. There is no question now that you can make it through anything. Okay. Know that there's a new beginning for you with this news that's coming in. Okay, I see it. There's a message coming in for you, this news coming in for you. And it's going to change all aspects of your life. It's also going to bring you out of this doubt. And even like this poverty type lack mindset. Or even like emotionally, mentally injured mindset. This news is going to lift you up out of that. Okay. 
Let's get one more. Okay, we got, yeah, Ace of Swords. So breakthrough for you. You've been waiting on a breakthrough. I feel like in all areas of your life, Capricorn, and finally during October, you're starting to see the little hints of sunlight breaking through um, the shade of trees, right? You're starting to see um, the morning sunrise after a very long night. All right, so little glimmers of hope returning to you. And I love it. It's it's going to feel good towards the end of the month for you, Capricorn. It really is. Um, let's see what the angels want to tell you. Okay. We have, oh, I hope I can say this right, Baradiel. Angel of ha Hail and the 11th Hour. So the angel of the 11th hour, it is number 13, okay? And this angel, I'm going to go ahead and let you take a good look at the card. So this angel um, is about offense and defense, okay? She's about taking a risk giving you a Hail Mary. So maybe some of you have been saying like Hail Marys or you feel very connected to the Hail Mary um, or you feel connected to Mary. We also have reincarnation and grants long life, okay? So this angel helps you to find courage to do things that you're afraid to do or feel like you can't do. She's going to help you to find the energy and the courage to be able to get through this month and do what you have to do and help you to pull off the impossible. So she's going to give you the strength and everything you need to create all the abundance um, and possibilities for this month. And she wants you to know that no cause is lost. Okay, this angel is... um. Working on your offense and your defense, okay, to get you through um, to the other side, to where you want to be. She's helping you. She's helping Rahu unlock these doors. She's she's guiding you, okay. You can connect with this beautiful angel um, through meditation and with the onyx stone, okay. And the angels are asking you to pray for guidance. If you're feeling lost, pray for guidance and you're going to receive it. Okay, Saji, or I'm sorry, Capricorn, let's go ahead and take a look and see if the universe is giving you a trick or a treat. Look, we already have one that came out. Okay, so what is it? Oh, we have the lamp, remembrance. You know what this reminds me of? So there's like the old saying, you know, um, you put a light in the window when you're waiting for someone to return home so that they know that you are waiting up for them, right? There's like an old saying like that. And so the universe is telling you, Capricorn, your light is in the window, okay? That light is in the house for you, and it's guiding you home, okay? It's guiding you into abundance. It's guiding you to exactly where you need to be, all right? So, what magic are you making this Halloween, Capricorn? What magic are you making this Halloween? The festival. Oh, look at this. I love it. So, you're creating happiness for your life, Capricorn. That's what you're creating, okay? You are creating an energetic blueprint for a fantastic ev event. So, wow, you know what I'm seeing? Something actually really magical is going to happen for you. This is an event that you've manifested. Um, this is something to do with this news coming in. It could be an invitation, okay, that is going to 
really unlock um, something for you in your life that's very important, okay? So pay attention for that. I'm seeing the number 27 as well. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. If you enjoyed the reading, if it resonated with you, you can leave me a like. I would appreciate that. And a comment down below if you want. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that as well. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.